Oh, hello, wild ones. I'm here in this beautiful frozen snowy valley with all my camping gear at the end of a weekend trip. So I thought I'd run through it and show you what I'm using. This gear list is not cheap and it's not lightweight. This is a 12 kilo base weight setup that I've got here. So it's quite heavy. I will drag each thing out, put it out here. And then at the end, I'll show you how it all fits in to this rucksack. So first thing is the tent. This is a Hilleberg Solo. This tent is pretty heavy compared to what I'm used to for hiking. And I'm also using it with the footprint as well, which makes it even heavier. It's taken me years to be able to afford one of these, but it does seem really solid and it's kept me warm and safe in really cold conditions. I'm yet to try it in wind, which is the crux for me. I need to put it out in some gale force wind, see how it does. So far, I really like it and I feel really safe in it. Firstly, my sleep mat. This is a Thermarest Exum Max Regular. So I've had this mat a long time. I really love it. It's always kept me lovely and warm. And sometimes I swear you can actually feel your heat being reflected back onto you. It's wonderful. And it's nice and big, so I'm not like sliding off it onto the floor and getting cold. So yeah, really love that. This is my new sleeping bag, the Rab Ascent 1100. So I did have the 900. I wanted something a little bit warmer. It's also a little bit heavier. I think this is 1.7 kilos. I've been toasty and warming it all weekend. I do still have to use hand warmers in my sleeping bag, but that's just me, I'm a cold sleeper. This is my booty bag. This is the Alp Kit Cloak. I bought this one because it's a bit lighter than my Alp Kit Hunker booty bags and it does fine just to keep condensation off the bag. Next is my Trekology Aloft pillow. This is an inflatable pillow, really love it. It's lovely and comfy and it's been through a lot with me, this pillow. And then underneath my sleep system, I have one of these foil foam mats. I think this is the Highlander one. It's really light and being foil, it does reflect a little bit of heat back. And it just helps protect my sleep mat as well from any sharp pokey things that might be coming through from below. So that goes under the sleep system. So as you can imagine, that's pretty snug. Oh. For water on this trip, I didn't want to carry much water weight because this gear is so heavy already. So I've got one of these. It's my first time using a filter squeeze bag and I really, really love it. So I can just go to a stream, fill it up, just a little bit of water so it's not too heavy and drink straight from it. You can't let this freeze, of course, because if you let a filter freeze, it breaks it inside and it won't be working anymore. So when I'm hiking during a day, I clip it onto one of my straps next to my body and have it in my coat stop it freezing and I carry two bottles during the day these are empty when I'm hiking and I fill them up just for camp at a nearby stream so I always carry some sort of towel or sponge or something to clean up rainwater or condensation I have a trekking pole which I love it just gives me loads of stability and when I start sliding over or falling over which is quite often it potentially stops me breaking an ankle I'm hypermobile so my joints are really sort of floopy and flapping around everywhere so this is an essential for me it does fold down but it's frozen solid at the moment I have also bought an ice axe this is a pet seal ride always a good idea to carry one of these in the winter because you just never know when you might need it and I've also bought my snow spikes this weekend I've needed these actually up that valley up there really steep really snowy and icy and they just ah, go on like that and are brilliant at stopping you sliding around in the snow and ice so yeah love those a little sit mat this is just a cheapy thing I think it was like three pounds kind of battered now but I just use this to sit on when I'm having lunch or even in the tent it's just nice to sit on stop your bum getting cold and it's also handy to put my electronics water filter on to insulate them from the ground when it's really cold hand warmers so I use two different kinds of hand warmers I use these which are hot hands I put these in my sleeping bag at night and I've also got this electronic hand warmer and it is a godsend actually it makes such a difference it can also be used as a power bank. 
So yeah, really cool. And I've got seal skin gloves, which have been great. These are completely soaked through, but they're completely dry on the inside. And they've got the little finger and thumb bits. So that's really handy. My food. I bought two kilograms of food for this weekend. It was way too much because I was thinking I might be out for three nights. It's ended up just being two and I've bought extra as well. It's always a good idea to bring extra food because especially in these conditions, you're burning a lot of calories trying to stay warm. And if the worst happened and you got stuck somewhere, at least you'd be able to eat, you know? So this stuff here is my little med kit. Got a decongestant. Squirt that up my nose because I get a bit of allergies sometimes. This little thing is like pain meds and stuff if I need anything like that. And in here I've got like a bandage tourniquet. Someone's pointed out before, you need to know how to use a tourniquet because you can do more harm than good with it. I've also got stuff in here to fix things with tenacious tape, gaffer tape, puncture repair kit. So clothes that I bring for camp at night. So this is not stuff that I wear during the day. It's stuff that I keep in a dry bag. These dry bags, by the way, are the Exped ones. Really love the Exped dry bags. They've never let me down. I have these floofy down booties, which are amazing. Love those. They are nature hike. This is just a buff. I have one that I wear during the day and one that I keep dry for nighttime. A spare pair of trousers, a little fleece hat that I wear to sleep in. It's not the most fashionable hats, but it does the job. This is a merino wool top. A little pair of fleece clubbies. I do bring some nice warm socks as well for bedtime. I'm actually wearing those now to stop me getting cold feet while I'm quite stationary filming this video. This here is my toiletries bag. And I've got some baby wipes as well. Oh, I've got this lovely lightweight little trowel. This is in case you want to dig a hole and store some nuts and stuff for the winter. Like a squirrel. Tissues. Oh, I've got, in case I need that, eye mask and earplugs. If you are a person with hair, I have this tiny little brush. It's like the insert of one of those folding brushes. It's not the best, but it does the job. Tiny tweezers, piece of nail file. Toothbrush and toothpaste. I keep talc in this one, hair bands. I actually bring all my skincare stuff in these teeny tiny little pots. This is my electronics bag. So in here, I've got a power bank. This is an Anchor power core. This charges all of my things for three days, generally. So that's really cool. My little head torch. This is from Decathlon. It's got a red light and two settings of white light. And my tent light which I love. This is a Goal Zero Lighthouse Micro Light and it just makes it feel so cozy and so nice. So really love that. I also use a personal locator beacon. This is the Garmin InReach Mini. I would consider this an essential piece of kit if you're going out away from reception in the mountains. So that's electronics. This is my cook set. I cook my delicious pastas and have my morning coffee. Firstly, I have it all bunched together with these elastics. They're from Outdoor Gear Essentials, so they're great holding it all together. And I'm using here a Tokes 900ml titanium pan and it's got the measurements on the inside there for your water. I'm using jet boil, gas canister, another little microfiber cloth. I use this to put a hot pan down on, stops things melting. And I also use it just in the pan when I pack it all away, stops it rattling. And my titanium spoon, gas canister stand, just gives it more stability, a lighter and my actual stove, which is teeny weeny. This is just, it's a little cheap thing. I've got two of these. I've been using them forever, basically. They've never failed me. I do also bring matches just in case and some water purification tablets just in case. A few bits and bobs here. A spare little plastic bag, always handy. Some cordage, a little mini bungee. That's just in case something breaks on my rucksack. 
and a spare boot lace. I've had boot laces break twice actually on trips, so that's an essential for me. Rubbish bag, a map and a compass, my phone, a little thermometer because I like to know the temperatures and stuff, hand sanitizer, lip balm, moisturizer, some gum, a knife, I've got a little opinel. I've only really been using that to chop my sausage this weekend, but it's always handy to have, you never know when you might need a knife. A little pencil if you wanna make notes about anything or draw on the map. And this is my lovely rucksack, which is frozen to a crisp at the moment. Uh, what is it 70 litres it's pretty big and it just about fits all my winter stuff in and I'm also using a Nylofume pack liner which keeps my stuff nice and dry it's waterproof so now I'm gonna pack everything away and I'll show you how we get all of this into this rucksack start with the sleeping mat I just roll mine nice and easy and that goes straight in there foam mat. Right, shove that in there. I use a dry bag for my sleeping bag. This thing is so big. It goes in in the end. Just shove it right down. <sighs> Put that in the bottom alongside my sleeping mat. The baby bag. This has got its own little baggy that goes in. Just goes in there. A lovely pillow. Stick that in there, just shove everything as far down as it can go. So with my bed clothes, I put the down stuff in first so that I can compress it down at the bottom. Wet or damp stuff, I just put in a separate bag. So that's all my bed clothes and I put those in the bottom of my rucksack. And my little spades, I pop that on a carabiner on the outside. All my electronics. My Garmin clips onto my rucksack shoulder strap so that I can see it and I've got it easy access in case I have an accident. So my empty water bottles, I have one in each of these side pockets and also in the side pocket I keep my ice axe and I have the axe with the point pointing away from me. This is my med kit stuff and it goes in this little side pocket here. My cook set. That goes in the bottom as well. Food goes in the main bit. My little sit mat, I stick that in this front bit here so that if I need it when I'm hiking for lunch or if I want to stop and sit on something, it's there. I'm going to clip my water filter bottle onto my straps here. So that leaves the tent. Just goes to show a lovely little microclimate you make with your tent. So the poles for the tent I put in here with my bottle and I run this through the loop here so that they can't fall out because you really don't want to lose your tent poles. The tent itself goes in the main bit. As you can see this is my rucksack full to the brim and then what I do with this not a fume pack liner squish everything down twist it and just use an elastic and then do it all up all right guys so that's everything all packed away into my humongous rucksack like I say, it's not cheap stuff, it's not light stuff, but this is stuff that keeps me warm, safe and dry in potentially dangerous cold conditions. Everything I've shown you today has worked really well out in practice. I'm really pleased with it all. So I hope someone out there found that useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.